Hey everybody. A few years ago I started at a shop and as I was onboarding I was looking at how they did their maintenance and I noticed something odd. They took uncompressed backups. I thought that was so strange. I've been compressing backups for as long as I can remember. But in talking to my boss at the time what he said made sense. They wanted speed. That was the most important thing. This was an online transaction processing system and they had so much work to do with data loads overnight that they didn't want to run into contention with a backup. So the backup's job was to get in and get out as fast as it could. And that was awesome. I was actually surprised at how much faster it operated. But then you have a huge backup and we were wasting a lot of disk space to hold it. Well, later on they came back through with gzip and zipped it up. And I had always wondered which was better. What's the benefit? If I use gzip or I use db2's compression, who's going to win out? And what about the time savings? And what other steps do I have to do later on if I wanted to use the gzip's backup? So I did an experiment way back then that I just reproduced now. And I want to show you the results. I thought it was kind of interesting because there is a case for doing uncompressed backups, but it seems to be environment and need specific. So let me show you what I found. The first thing I noticed about my data was how much faster a backup that is not compressed is. And that's essentially what we have for the gzip. If I don't compress my backup, my backup time is at 16 minutes compared to 43 minutes with DB2 compression. That really caught my attention. So then I looked at the compressed size and went, whoa, it's not much different. But there is an improvement in the compression rate with going with gzip as opposed to db2 compression. So right off the bat, there seems to be a case to switch. But then start comparing apples to apples and take a look at the total time. gzip takes time to get done. And once I add the backup time to the gzip time, I am actually longer than it would take if I was using native DB2 compression. So it's not that much. Is it worth it, especially if your compressed size is less? Well, to me, that's environment specific and your need specific. Because one thing is not here that you're going to have to take my word on is that it takes longer to recover from a gzipped file. Unfortunately, I don't have an environment that I could get hard numbers to show you, so I'm speaking from personal experience. It takes time to get to the gzipped file, uncompress it, and then apply it in a restore. Now, with smaller databases, this may not be as true, but at that time I was dealing with multi-terabyte databases, and it could take up to 30 to 45 minutes to gun zip what we had compressed. But their time to recovery, the SLA was a lot looser than other companies I worked for. It was okay if it took them a little longer to recover. It was not okay to interfere with all the data being pumped in at night. So for this company, it made sense. All right, Mike, so you threw in a bunch of numbers at me. What's the end result? Well, the answer is if you want to do compression, it depends you really are going to have to pay the piper. It's just, are you front loading the time and pressure on your resources at the very beginning? Or are you back loading the time on your pressure and resources at the end? The other thing that you're looking at is gzip. And it may look attractive to go to gzip because you're getting a little bit more compression. And that's true. And although I've never done it, from what I understand, you can play with DB2's compression library a little bit. So maybe you could eke out a little more there. The other thing coming from experience with using gzip is that there's an extra step to break. I'm always about keeping something simple. There's less moving parts. There's less to go wrong. And when we were dealing with this gzip scenario, there was more than once that we had a uh, an altered or a corrupt backup with the gzip that we had to deal with. So it really is dependent on what you're looking for. Now a question that I get quite often is, is there a benefit of doing compression on compression? 
that is I have compression in my database say adaptive compression or value compression it may be on tables it may be on indexes the answer is yes sometimes there is a value to compression but it depends on what you have if you are doing like value compression which gives you some benefit don't get me wrong but it's not deep compression it's not adaptive compression then using a compressed backup will give you some lift you will actually shrink a little bit more However, if you've got compression all over the place on your database and you decide to do a compressed backup, you're really not going to eke much out of that. And even with my experience doing it with gzip, you still aren't going to eke much out of that. So it really depends on your actual environment. So what do you use? Do you use compression with DB2? Do you use gzip? Do you not compress at all? I'd be curious to see what you do in your environment. Well, that's it. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please hit the subscribe button so you're updated when more videos come out. And I'll talk to you soon.